No, you look great. Okay. <laughs> Fabulous. Your first name and your last name? Nechamid Ya'ari. If you can spell your last name. Y-A-A-R-I. That's your last name, and I guess probably spell your first name since we're not familiar with it. Okay, N-E-C-H-A-M-I-T, Nechamit. Thank you. And you have been a teacher with Tama Torah for how long? 28 years. If you can just start it out with repeating my question, because sometimes we don't oh, get my okay. question. Oh. Okay, I am with Talmud Torah for 28 years, the last 28 years. Tell me about how you came to Talmud Torah. Um, I, I was born and raised in Israel. Um, after I got married, uh, my husband and I moved to Madison, Wisconsin, and I got my, uh, I got my teacher's certificate in university in uh, Israel in uh, Seminar Levinsky and I got my BA degree in University of Wisconsin. We moved to Wichita for two years ahead of my first baby, and uh, my husband was recruited by Dayton Hudson Corporation, and we moved over here, and that's where I started. Uh, at that time, my daughter was nine months old. Today, she is uh, going to be 29 years old in uh, three, four weeks. And all these years, I'm here for me. Talmud Torah is like a second house. And this class is like my bedroom. I'm always here, you know. It's like uh, I live here. So it's, I have a lot of mixed feelings about the moving. I'm excited, but then it's part of your life are here. So it, it's kind of hard to, it's mixed emotions. Yeah, very well said. Um, tell me about the Talmud Torah community, your feeling of being here. I love Talmud Torah. Um, I love the children. I love the parents. I'm very lucky that I teach first grade. And I love to teach first grade because when I get them, they know absolutely nothing. And at the end of the year, whatever they know, it's me. It's whatever I t taught them and whatever I gave them, um, whatever they know, it's my work. So it's, you, have a, you have a wonderful feeling when you teach uh, first grade, and I'm very lucky to teach in the last 29 years, 28 years, uh, first grade. I teach here the reading, writing, and speaking language, culture and ceremonies, uh, holidays. Uh, together with that, that's what I do from four to six. From mm -hmm. six to eight, I teach the uh, bar mitzvah here, which is hey and vav. That's, uh, I will call it a challenging age. The children are 13 years old, and uh, it's a tough time for the children because of their bar mitzvah and bat mitzvah. Uh, it's a hard time because of the stress that they have uh, to perform and the, you know, during their bar mitzvah. And um, it's, it's not easy time for them. I started also junior high, come here from six to eight. And uh, it's, it's a challenging classes, but uh, I love it. Because especially because it's such a unique group, and uh, try to do the best to uh, teach them from and give them a knowledge and make them sure that they go and feel that they learned something and they did something, even if it's from six to eight, which is very very tough for regular children to come to study after that long day to come from six to eight. Very good. Um, what do you think Tama Torah gives kids today aside from learning the language? Um, know who they are and to know how to deal with this, uh, how to deal with uh, being Jewish, how to feel, to feel pride and know who, the, who they are and how to deal with them and their life later on. Uh, it's not just a language, it's more the power and the strength and the knowledge, how to deal with their life and how to deal with situations. and what Judaism mean and what Israel mean to the Jewish people and how to deal with, um, with, the, out, with the outside world, if you can say it, how to deal with people around them. And, um, and you, they, you, they come to Talmud Torah, they feel at home. They feel uh, they, are, it's, they are with their family. It's a very uh, unique uh, feeling when they come and everybody is Jewish and everybody is like you. And, we are all in the same boat, and it's children that started here when they are nine years old, and they continue this relationship until uh, they are, uh, some of them, uh, 18 or 17. Uh, 
the study of for 10 years, 11, some of them 11 years, some of them 10 years. And uh, the, uh, the relationship of friendship developed here and stay for years and years. Uh, some of them even get married, meet here and get married. Uh, so it's, it's a very unique uh, place here. It's something that um, many of the parents cannot give it at home uh, because of several reasons, you know. Sometimes it's knowledge, sometimes it's time. And here they, they get all these special uh, feelings and knowledge that they, they will not get it in public school. And in this age, will not get it even through, through books because it's, it's, it's feelings and it's practicing it and it's celebrating holidays uh, and um, just feel and know who you are. That's great. I love that. Um, something about if you can preface this by saying you've been, this has been your my classroom for 28 years or whatever, today is my last day, sort of telling us, um, in your own words, but telling us you've been here so long, this is your last day, and what that means to you, what this community has meant here. You're moving to a new place to still be together, but just sort of like, it's, it, there's something special about that, I think. Um. Yeah, this, the, I was in this room for, for 28 years and in this uh, community for 28 years. Um, because of my teaching position here, I, be, uh, I think I, I taught at least uh, 100 on 100 on 1,000 children through all these years. And uh, I go in the street, I go in Richdale, I go in Bayerlitz. Hi, Mrs. Siari, how are you doing, Mrs. Siari? You know, I just had a baby. I already... <laughs> In the last... Let's start it over again, if you don't mind. Okay. That, like, that thought you're getting Okay, well, I don't know what I said. I'm just saying, I've been here for 28 years. Um, I, okay, I've if been you here... you just kind of mention also... That okay, I have... Okay, I have been here in a, to the last 28 years, so that's my last day, and the feelings are mixed. On one side, I'm happy, great, we are moving to a, to a new school, and I finished the year, and I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. The children left home, left home, yes, I called it home, left school, uh, very happy. We went through around the class uh, in the last hour, and everybody had to say memories about Talmud Torah, and the main thing was we learned a lot, and we um, made new friends, and it's, it's great, because that's what, what the idea that I wanted to do with them. Uh, but uh, for me, this place is a lot more than that. Because I'm from Israel, I'm not from United. From in, I'm not from here. For me, this place became also a family. Knowing, in the last um, 28 years, I taught 100 on thousand child, of children. In the last three years, I also have already second generation, which means I have the children of my students. I have at least five, six uh, couples here that came in the first day and said. Mrs. Siari or Nehamit, we brought our children to, to teach. And I called one of the girls, Sipora and Pinchas, and she said to me, I, don't, I can't believe you, you remember my name, you know. So it it's became like my life work. It's not just teaching job from, or just the work from 8 to 4 and you go home. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot more than that. We are at least I am always being invited to weddings and to bar mitzvot and to open houses of students that I taught in the in the last uh, 28 years and which mean I became a very important part of this family life so it's just it's not just a school it's it's became a community um, when when um, I have students that the grandparents are coming from out of town, they will call me and come, you know, would you like to come and meet them in our house? Or can they come and visit in your, in your class? It's a very unique, special, very unique, unique uh, connection. And um, it's, it's a beautiful community here. Uh, the children are great, and the parents that stand behind the children are wonderful because it's not easy, not for the children and not for the parents, to come and study here from uh, 4 to 8. The little ones are coming from 4 to 6. It's not easy. And the older ones from 6 to 8, it's not easy for them too. But 
the parents are behind it and the children understand it's important. And if we just, uh, our, my VAF class just uh, graduated and we had a beautiful uh, ceremony um, and, and dinner and the parents had to go around and tell us a memory about their children. And Mrs. Uh, Solomon, she and another five, six parents got up and said, we have to tell you what happened this year. There is days that we told our students, don't come, you have a lot of homework, and you have sport, and it's cold, and I'm tired, and I don't feel like driving you, and stay home. And the students said, nope, we would like to come. You have to come and bring us. We'll probably just wrap it up, but maybe if there's something you could tell us, is there something that you would miss most about this room, this building? Well, I, you know, I sure haven't, you know, I just been, they told us that we are moving to a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. And said, you know what, I know every hole. I know every little um, tear. I, I know every little thing in this class and in this building. And I feel like, you know, in a way, Somebody's cutting my hand, you know, it, maybe it's too strong to say it, but when you are in, in one place, and I remember where students were sitting, you know, I, you know, when they come to the class, the ones that already were here and come with their children, I can point where each and everybody were sitting. So it's, it's a lot more than just moving to a new place. It's leave behind a lot of memories and sweet and nice memories because it's not only that I gave to this community and to the children of this community. They gave me, uh, they gave me a lot too. As I said, I grew up and was born in Israel and we, when we came to, uh, to Minneapolis, we didn't even know one person, no one. And they kind of took us in, um, my husband and me and, and my daughter that was nine months old at that time and invited us over and made us feel great and now you know this is my place this is home and it's just everything is because of Talmud Torah that's how I got all my connection to this place. That's wonderful. Anything else that you have thought of that you would want to say for someone watching a videotape about Talmud Torah 20 years from now let's say? Um, I think this community is very lucky to have a place like Talmud Torah uh, that uh, have here, uh, most of our teachers are certified teachers, that um, most of them have BA, some of the teachers have masters, some of them are professors, and to have such a community that have so much knowledge and so much history, um, it's, it's very unique and very special. And I think we are all very lucky that we have this kind of an institution. I started on the north side and I moved to oh, so oh, okay. Rolnik. Oh, you had Rolnik. I had um, Mar King. Okay. I had Mar Kaz. Okay, Mark so you before my time. Yeah, well, he was the principal. Mar Kaiser was the principal. Okay. I had Mar Kaiser. Yes, Mar Kaiser. Yeah, Kaiser was the I principal. Mar King. And, that was and I'm teaching a grandchild of uh, Mr. Rolnik in my oh, class, yeah. Alter. So sweet. Yeah. He was such a sweet guy. Right. And then uh, Mar Church, and then I think. Rabbi Tetke. Rabbi Tetke and uh, Black. And yeah. And Black. Yeah, a, a, a woman. A woman, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, and Black, yeah. Okay. And so Vivian Mann, did you? Did yeah, Vivian Mann talk to you? Kind of crossed over. Okay. I know her okay. daughter. Oh, yes. you know Rina? Her daughter and I, yes. Oh. Her daughter's younger than I. Yeah, but, Rina, but yeah. We're contemporaries. Oh, oh, that's yeah. nice. So that puts it. Puts yeah, it in okay, place. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but definitely. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Well, thank you. I think it's. Thank you.